Six minutes to go. It's been an interesting one. We thought it would be. On paper. The older, more experienced fighter with the titles behind him. Who's seen better days against the youngster. On his way up being uh, well, probably tested for the first time. And Ryan Brawley is passing that test at the moment. Got to see it through. McKeever will keep going for as long as he's in there. Six knockouts on the slate and a 27-fight pro career for Makiba. How he needs another one now. Well, it's shown in the corner that it's hurting Makiba doing this. It's hard for him. You know, he's losing a little bit of self-belief, I think. And, and, you know, at this stage, it's going to take an awful lot for him to, to get close to Brawl. He's got to keep the, the hard work going, and I think it's, it's getting too tough for him. At the moment, you know, he hasn't got the fitness, he hasn't got the, the timing to get inside those punches. You see, fitness is crucial, isn't it, Glenn? I mean, he's in shape, they've got him in shape, but not ring fitness. No, you've got to be really fight fitness. You know, it, it, it's very, very important for young boxers to be super, super fit all the time. You know, it's something that, you know, if you train hard, you don't have to worry about your fitness. You know, you can, you can work on your skills, you can dig deep and it's there. For once, his hand problems have not annoyed him here, Jamie McKeever. Ryan Brawley just smoothly gliding around the ring, popping out the odd couple. Just got to be careful when the right's low like that. Well, that's a problem if you carry your hands low when you're in the ring, you start to tire, your reflexes are not as good and you can't get your hands up. Good work from Brawley, backing up Nikita. And look at this combination, really flowing. Referee's got in. I think he stopped it, yes he has. Well, that's bizarre. Paul Graham stops the fight. Jamie McKeever seemed absolutely fine. Ryan Brawley gets his first inside schedule win on home soil. Makes it nine out of nine. Deserved to win the fight, Glenn, on stoppage. Yeah, but I think, you know, he really made a big effort to, to get this stoppage. He threw an awful lot of punches. Something had to come back from McKeever. You know, he was really going for it, Brawley, and I think, you know, he did enough at that time when McKeever was tired to convince the referee. It was a good burst. There were plenty of punches. Was McKeever hurt here? Yeah, he was hurt. You saw the legs dip. He's hurt. There's nothing coming back. You know, there's not enough There's coming left hooks back. coming back, Glenn. I don't know about that. Oh, I think he was he was hurt. It was a good, a good flurry of punches. There, look at the legs. It's in a tyrant fight. You can't allow a fighter like McKeever to take another few good, solid shots. And I think, you know, there's a lot of punches going in. It only takes one. And, you know, he's got the commitment there, Brawley. He's going for the stoppage. And I think it would have come he gets even if the, it was later. Well, he gets the stoppage. Nine out of nine. What a win for Ryan Brawley. Well, it was, it was hard to start with, but as the later rounds come on, I seem to have felt a lot, a lot better as the, the fight went on. So I was glad to get it by, but... What a time for your first stoppage as well. What was the key? Just get in, try and outbox him. If he tried to brawl me, and it seemed to have worked anyway. He put you under a lot of pressure. He, he's got a great pace. Did it tire you at all? It tired me. I felt tired in the fifth round, and then after that, I was, I was fine. Second wind. You're unbeaten in nine now. You go back to the gym, you look at the tape. What do you think you still have to work on? We'll wait, we need to wait and see the fight first. Well, we'll wait and see that, and then we'll work on things for there. Got the defence to keep my hands up, a little better. Tommy, what's the plan now for Ryan? No, I think you need a lot of meaningful fights like McKeever. I mean, McKeever, the former British champion, and, and, and these are the sort of things that he needs to, to do to get through. He's had been stalked by a bit of illness over the last couple of years, so he, need, he really needs a half a dozen fights over the next six months or so uh, of that calibre, and then, then we'll see what will happen with 2009. Yeah, Ryan Brawley uh, steps up and, and did well, but was it a fair stoppage? 
Yeah, it was. Uh, McKeever, who was well out of the fight, hadn't won a round. He was taking far too many punches. But I thought that was an excellent performance for, from young uh, Brawley. He said things pretty much his own way, so I wanted to see him in a fight where he had to work hard for victory, and that's what we got tonight. Facing Jamie McKeever over eight rounds in your ninth professional fight, it was going to be tough. It was tough. A couple of the rounds, you had to dig in and show the qualities you need to see in a, a young fighter. He showed them, and the stoppage took me by surprise. Excellent performance all the way around, especially the stoppage. I'll just put the cream on it for him. And he didn't look entirely comfortable at times, did he? No, he has a kind of disjointed style when he's pushed back. He's very tall for the weight and his hands are too low. He pulls away from punches, he makes mistakes, but he's only a kid, you can't be too harsh on him. And that was always going to be a tough match for him. But I think his tactics were good. He boxed well at long range whenever he could, and when he had to stand and trade, he did that and he came out on top as well. All round, it was a good performance. A lot, lot of work to be done on the young kid, but he certainly has talent. Good prospect. All right, Jim, thanks very much.